In this example, we have an RC circuit supplied with a voltage V of T, and the output voltage of this system is measured across the capacitor C. We are interested in the transfer function between the output and the input voltage, that is, H of S equals to output V out of S over the input V of S. In order to find this transfer function, we'll need to relate the output to the input voltage. And that can be done through the current that flows in the circuit. If you call the current in this loop I of T, we can first find the relation between I of T and V of T, then find the relation between I of T and the output voltage, and then relate them, the input and the output, through the current. Let's start with the relation between I and V. Applying Kirchhoff's law to that loop will give V of T equals to IR plus 1 over C integral of I dt. Taking the Laplace of this equation gives V of S, now in the frequency domain, equals to I of S times R plus 1 over Cs times I of S, where 1 over S represents the integral in the frequency domain. Here we have I of S multiplying both terms. We can move I of S to this side of the equation or simply isolate it. V of S equals to I of S times R plus 1 over Cs. Now we need to relate I of T to V out. V out is simply, of T, is simply 1 over C integral of I dt, which in the frequency domain gives V out as 1 over Cs I of S. Now that we have both expressions, we see that they are linked through I of S. Since you're interested in V out and V S, we can replace I of S in one of these equations using the expression that, that we obtained from the other one. For simplicity, we can isolate I of S in the second equation. And this is V out times C times S. We can now rewrite the first expression and replace I of S with the expression that we got here. So now V of S becomes V out of S times Cs times R plus 1 over Cs. V of S over V out of S now it is Cr S plus 1. Since we are looking for the transfer function, we need the output divided by the input. So our transfer function is the inverse of this, h of s equals to output divided by the input, which is simply 1 over rcs plus 1. And this expression now gives the relation between the input and the output of the system. If you're now interested in the output V out when we apply a step function to V of S, we simply move V of S to this side of the equation, replace it with the appropriate input, in this case for a step would be 1 over S, and find the inverse Laplace to find the temporal response of V out for a step input of V of S.